here. I didn't hear anybody say, but you have to trust him. Yeah. Folks need to know that. Am I right about it? Yeah. The reason I kept pumping and praying everybody to sing louder or sing harder is because we cannot be intimidated in the presence of the enemy. So therefore, we have to be built up in the presence of God. Is there a witness up in here? Is there a witness up in here? Psalm 124, Psalm 124, Psalm 124, Psalm 124. Psalm 124. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side. Now may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side. When men rose up against us, maybe me and this preacher are the only one with some enemies. Come on up in here. <laughs> then they said, they, uh, then they have swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against them. Uh, Seem like we all have some enemies out there. Yeah. Then the waters had overwhelmed us. The stream had gone over our soul. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord. Blessed be the Lord. Who has not given us. Look at your neighbor and say, God will not throw you away to worry me. He might just be sacking you in the process. Is there a witness up in here? Come on, up in here. Who has not given us as a prey to their what? Teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is what? Broken. Shouldn't anybody leave here today with the same mentality that I'm not going to make it. But we just going to see what happens. God deserves better than that because he does more than that. Is there a witness? Yeah. The snare is what? Broken. And we have or we are what? Escape. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Grab the hand of your neighbor. Grab the hand of your neighbor. Grab the hand of your neighbor. Heavenly Father, if it had not been for you on our side, we wouldn't be here today. If it had not been you for you, Lord God, during the, the civil rights, Lord God, we wouldn't be here today. Yes. Heavenly Father, we commemorate, Lord God, the late Dr. Martin Luther King, Lord God, in celebration tomorrow, Lord God. Yes. Not just for a black race, but for a body of people that sought equality. Yes. But Heavenly Father, as Christians, Lord God, we just want to do your will. Yeah. We just want to do your will. Each one of us has to promise with our name on it. Yeah. So therefore, we must declare and decree there are some times that we're going to see the promise, but may not make it with the people. Yeah. But we're going to preach the promise, declare the promise, and share the promise. We may not make it over at the same time, but we're going to make sure that our children and our children's children reach that calling and destiny that you have for them, but it must go by the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. We love you, bless you, honor, and adore you. In Jesus' name we pray. Before y'all take your seat, before y'all take your seat, listen closely. Y'all know we give each other a high five, but listen closely. I need you to ask the person next to you. First of all, ask them who did it? Who did it? God did it? Did it? Ask them who did it? Who did it? Tell them yeah. Make me see it. Who did it? Who did it?
the children of Israel, the children of Israel, Jacob's descendants. These are children of God that knew God. These are children of God that knew of God. These are children of God who were blessed by God. These were children of God who were protected by God. These were children of God who praised God. These were children of God who worshiped God. But I come to tell you, these are some bad children. Put your hands together for God. Yeah. 
live there. And many of us in our lives, praise be to God, we know that God has kept us, that God has been with us, that God has brought us, that God has covered us. And for some reason or another, we allowed our sin to get the best of us and allowed us to separate from our uh, from our dedication to God, to our devotion to God, to our consecration to God. But I come to tell you, just because your sin and your fear doesn't mean your sin is worth anything. Can I
Satan. Christians don't walk around without a food. If you be in Christ, you are a new. That means they're going to spit on you. Wipe it off. Can I be a witness up in here? That means they're going to lie on you. Get over it. Come on up in here. That means they're going to talk about you. That means that they're going to hurt you. That means they're going to cut you. That means they're going to backbite you. That means they're going to turn their back. That means that they're going to plot against you. Regardless, I just need all.
himself? What are you doing in some dead situations? If you're related to the resurrection himself, what are you doing with some dead force? Just ask yourself. Ask yourself, get in the mirror, get in the mirror. Not when you get home, when you get in the fellowship hall, when you get in the restroom, when you get in your car. Look in that mirror. You just ask yourself, as I think back over my life, the good, the bad, and the... And I can't believe I'm still alive. I'm saying, talk to yourself, not your neighbor anymore. Just, just ask yourself, who did it? And then declare to yourself, what are you doing? What he's done for others? What he's done for others? And what he's done before? I'm not preaching in front of a dead congregation.
Come on down. Come on down. Christ. 
So how are we going to love? We're going to learn to love. So therefore, when leaders or lay members are not loving just right, go back to the cross and say, Lord, I'm just going to work around them until they get it together. Because I know how you love. And I'm going to imitate how you love. And you're going to show me how to love them even though they may despise me. Even though we're all in the same church or even though we're all in the same community. Why is that? Because everybody's invited to the house of God. I can be honest with you, no one's coming perfect. Now, to be honest with you, I'm going to be nowhere near perfect. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, being not to your own understanding, and all thy ways acknowledge him. He will direct your path. Grab the hand of the person next to you. Those out there, stretch your hands toward these humble hearts right now. Come on, let's go. Some love, 
Amen. Nobody stands alone in the house of God. Amen. 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 Two men teeth, but we still have joy. Can I get a witness up in this house? Amen. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Can I get a witness up in here? What manner of love is this? No greater love than the one that will lay down his life.